flags at half staff for the state auditor after the governor's order. Just moments after Tom Schweik's death was confirmed, both Senate and House members met on the House floor for a vigil. ABC 17's Ashley Strohmeyer was at that vigil, and she's joining us live at the Capitol outside Tom Schweik's office. And Ashley, you say the reaction from Missouri leaders was, as we would have expected, very quiet. Daniel, I'm on the first floor of the state capitol and right in front of Tom Schweik's office, which is right there. And you are exactly right. The vigil was extremely quiet. Governor Jay Nixon was there along with Speaker Deal and Lieutenant Governor Peter Kinder. Now, the vigil only lasted about five minutes. Everyone who was in the capitol at 145 gathered in the House chamber. Senators, representatives, and staff all came in for a short prayer. Now, keep in mind the prayer vigil took place about five minutes after it had been confirmed auditor Schweik died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound people even cried after the vigil was over I tried talking to leadership in the House and Senate as well as someone in the governor's office and the lieutenant governor they all declined to comment on camera but several people sent a release commenting on mr. Schweik's death along with the speaker of the house Senator Kurt Schaefer of Columbia said quote I have known him for many years as a friend and a political associate his dedication to fair and Admiral Public Service will be sorely missed by his colleagues in the state of Missouri. Those words echoed by most here at the state capitol. Reporting live at the capitol, Ashley Strohmeyer, ABC 17 News. Thank you, Ashley. Coming up on ABC 17 News at 6, we'll have crews live at the capitol explaining what's next and who will fill the vacancy left by Tom Schweik's past.